Hey guys, today we're going to do a, re a review on the Horizon Hobby E-Flight Blade Scout CX Helicopter. This is a three channel helicopter which costs $49.99. Comes with a 2.4 GHz transmitter which uh, works on four AA batteries. And your helicopter here, very nice little helicopter, it's a coaxial three channel. Your controls are going to be your throttle, they're going to be your spin, or your rudder, and they're also going to be your forward and backward movement. Unlike a four channel helicopter, you do not have any side to side movement or yaw. So you have throttle, spin, and forward and backwards. This is a great entry level helicopter at about half the price of the E Flight Blade MCX or MCX2, which is four channel, and it's a great way to get into the hobby and learn about it. As you can see here, I have three of them. That's because I'm going to be doing some contests to give away a couple of these items for free. Uh, check out my YouTube channel later for that. But first, let's talk about the helicopter. Like I said, it's great. And I wanted to mention one thing. I saw a helicopter in the store today. I think at like a, a, a kind of store in the mall, like a big store. And they were selling $50 three-channel helicopters. That's the same price as this E-Flight Scout CX. And the thing about those is, for one, I bet they don't fly as good. For two, they probably don't have as good of electronics, nor do they have the repairability or the parts availability to repair it if you break it. So the Scout CX is really a great choice. If you're looking to get into the helicopter hobby with something inexpensive, fun, and easy to learn on. Uh, it comes with a 70 milliamp one cell battery, and this is the only battery that will fit, and let me show you why. This battery actually has to stick in through these clips and then plug in in the front here. The problem is a bigger battery won't fit through there. So the only battery you can use is the stock battery, which is a 70 milliamp single cell LiPo. I didn't quite get it plugged in here. Let me get it plugged in. There we go. Now it'll light up in a second saying we're ready to fly. So let me go ahead and just give it a little test flight here and let you guys see how it works. Pretty nice for a little helicopter here. Um, so I decided to bring the helicopter into my pet room here. You can see it at the top right around here. I'm going to take it off and then bring it lower and fly it around the room so you can see how it works. Now with this three channel helicopter you spin is usually on the left the left controller on the throttle controller on a four channel helicopter but on this three channel helicopter it's on your right controller and you can see here I can do easy circles around the room and if I wanted to I can fly backwards just as easy as forwards. Uh, touch the tank a little bit. It is not super fast, but it has plenty of power. Let me give a little uh, punch up here. I'm down by the ground. It goes up pretty quick if you give it full power. So it, it definitely has plenty of power for uh, getting out of, you know, situations where you're going to crash. And let's just go over and uh, land back up where I took off. I know it's hard to see, but it's real simple to fly this thing. Nice little landing up there. I think you could probably see it. We'll take off and back up. And just fly around a little bit more here. Come up by the camera. It is weird with no yaw. I'm used to having a helicopter have four channels. Very smooth and stable in flight. Very easy to keep a constant hover. This room's got a little bit of air flow in it from my from my air filters, but helicopter flight is great. We'll bring it back up and uh, do a reverse landing where I came from. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Going too far back. I'm not used to having no yaw. But for a beginner, this would be great to learn on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it caught itself. But then it hit the uh, vacuum. But as you see, I crashed. And it's still flying like brand new, no damage. There are trim tabs on your remote in case you need to trim it at all. And this is about as fast as it goes. This is full forward, but you might be able to modify it to go faster. But out of stock setting, oh. And my battery started blinking, telling me my power is low, so I have to land it now. But there was a quick little flight demonstration and uh, a view of the E-Flight Blade uh, Scout CX. See you guys later.